in my kitchen. All right, so the recipe is super easy. <laughs> um, I just want to show you how to how easy it is. We need a pan. I don't know what's it called, but something pan that you can boil. So we're not gonna make a lot. And um, you, since I have so many cameras, and I'm gonna shut you off. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you now. Bye bye. I will see you in another camera. You see here. What we need, of course, we need this. We need. Um, let's take this kind of knife. Ginger. I have ginger here, so you can cut it like uh, maybe this much is enough. So let's just have this much. I need something from here. Ooh. I will probably take like, um, uh, I only have three, three red onions. And we also have uh, garlic. Four to five cloves of garlic is fine. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's, oh yeah. And of course you need um, bouillon. And there are four items. Oh no, actually there's more. Sesame oil, where is sesame oil? So basically this is this is it and also oh yeah we need rice one two three and four five six oh my god so easy we gotta chop them all off okay this you don't need to chop you just slice it you know what you wanna see how I do it fine let's just look at it you're such a baby Hey yo, what you do? See? Do you see? Uh, slice it. Oh, I need to sharpen this. Um, this knife is quite dull now. Oh my god! Can you just move away and stop hitting my elbow? The knife is quite dull, but this is how I cut it. Oh my god! It's so professional. I like the taste of ginger, but I don't like the big chunks of it. If it's like a little piece in your mouth, it's fine. Like a little, little atom particle kind of size. But if it's like too big, I just like, ooh, it changes the whole taste in the mouth. I really have no time for this, you know, because I'm not going to be eating it tonight anyway. I'm making this for tomorrow. This is fine. So uh, you do the same thing with the garlic as well. I don't need to show it to you. Okay, so we got our stuff ready to cook. Let's turn up the heat. Uh, what do I need? 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 Oh, I need oil. Put in some oil. Uh, this is this not some. That's a lot, Shafa. Come on, focus. So this is chopped garlic and ginger for one cup of rice mm -hmm. oh the smell is so good garlic and ginger goes together super well leave it into golden brown we put in our um, onions this is one cup this is considered one cup for me and you put the rice like um, almost a cup this is a bit too much. Focus, Shava. Uh, you know, the lesser the better. <laughs> but this is a bit too much. I don't care for this recipe. Let's just do it. I don't have time for this. And fry it all together. And then we got our... Our rice. It's done! See how delicious it is. Uncle Roger is gonna love my fried rice. Let's put it back in. No, we're not, we're not done yet. We still have like, I don't know. I have like maybe an hour to go through, but you probably have five more minutes to finish up this recipe. Or maybe you're gonna watch it within two minutes. Because in two minutes or one minute, it's gonna be done for you who's watching this video. So now we just have to fill in the water. So this is good. You just have to make sure that it's congee in the end. You know, if it's um, too fluffy, if it's too thick, then you add more water. You have to look at it. I don't count, I don't measure. I just shoot from the hips, but it just turns out to be well because it's full of love. And now we're putting in our bouillon. I put two bouillon actually, because 
this is my recipe. You can put one if you want, but I put two because I like the taste of it. And uh, we're done. Our last thing we need to put in is, um, Shaisa. Ayo, lekat ni. So the last thing you need to put is the sesame oil, but you don't put it now because the taste is gonna disappear. So you put it in the very last, in the very last, and you put sesame oil, and it will bring out the taste of the soup, soup rice, <laughs> chicken soup rice. Okay, so now we have to wait until it's cooked. Um, yeah, it's probably gonna take like um, 20 minutes. Then it's, it's gonna start to get fluffier. And then you have to make sure that you have to add water or not. If it's too fluffy, add water. You just have to make it like soupy. I will show you, okay? We're gonna see how it looks like in the end. All right, this is so dangerous. So here we have our congee rice is done and it's delicious. I've tasted it. And we have our scallion, chopped scallion, and the chicken that we cooked just now. Chicken that is shredded. And then we have our sesame oil to put it on top of it. Once it's done, you just pour it. You just pour it like this and then mix it. Ooh, so gorgeous. Autumn is already here and it's already starting to get cold outside and this is the best meal to have it with. Okay, if you want to try it, you can try it. It's so easy and is very delicious. While a 250 pound bear may have no problem snapping sticks, a weaker human will. So apparently years of watching these surrogates get humbled by a bamboo somehow taught them that that face is necessary to break it. You can even find videos where he breaks it, starts eating, realizes he forgot to store an annual leasing fee of up to a million dollars, along with 600,000 for every cub born there. Add the millions to build their enclosures and the thousands spent feeding them and a black and white bamboo bear is about five times more expensive than second place. And that's literally the biggest thing to lie with legs. And best Saba. And wouldn't you know, the penguin with King in his hand was not about eating like a peasant system. And the artist refused to substitute dead to social life just for another piece of seal chicken that you can find the same as you fish with the house as you can against the others. But some are too difficult to even eat. So Alright guys, thank you for watching. I have to go back to sleep. Bye bye.